Hi guys, today for our collection and declutter, I am going to be doing my single shadows that are in packaging and crayons, eye crayons, and um, liquid shadows. So that's what I'm going to do today. My single shadows that are in Z palettes are going to be a different video. So we're going to start with these and so these right here, these are all bare minerals. These are at least 12 years old. These don't get used anymore, but this was the first Christmas gift that I got from Anthony. So these, he got me a big set of them. So I keep these for nostalgia. I don't use them anymore, but that's why those are there. So we're going to take the rest of them out. And I have thoughts on what I'm going to do, but I need to look at them and maybe swatch them and see. Okay. Okay, we're going to go with the loose shadows. These are from Bella Pierre, and they are loose shadows. The three of them came in a set. It was like a mermaid set, I think is what it said. This one is turquoise. This one is tropic, and this one is bronze. You know, I was thinking of decluttering these, but what I think I'm going to do is press them into pans. I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't use loose shadows. I just don't. I don't like them. I think they're messy and that makes me not want to reach for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press these into pans. Now this one looks very glittery. And if that's the case, because I've never used them, you guys, I have never used them. They are still sealed. This is really glittery, then I probably won't use it. But the other ones I don't think are. I think they're just a loose shimmer shadow. So I'm going to keep them for now and I'm going to put them into uh, a pan, press them into a pan. This is Sydney Grace Firelight Glow. This is a, it says pressed pigment, but it's not pressed, it's loose. It's a loose pigment. I have pulled this up a little bit so that I could, I have pulled this up a little bit so that I could swatch it. And I'm not sure I haven't pulled up enough. You guys, I'm not going to swatch that because it's still sealed. And again, I think I'm going to press this into, I might press it into a pan and then pass this on to maybe Leanna, Ash, and they can press them into pans themselves, kind of like the liquid shadow that we've done, and I'll show you that at the end. Okay, so now we have these. These are all like single shadows in packaging. So I have these two Jacqueline. This one is called Glassy, and this one is called Icicle. And these are toppers. Um, I put these into my project three uses at the beginning of the year. I used them the three times. And then I haven't used them since. I'm going to declutter them. I am going to declutter them because I don't need them. I'm not going to use them. So yeah, declutter those. We have this. This is phase zero. This came in a, I think all of these came in, a, in boxes. So this is nude newbie. And there's that. It is very pretty. This one is called, um, I'm keeping the, I'm keeping that. This one is called Desert Sunset. This I have used as a highlighter before. That's also very pretty. You know, when I first started, when I was first thinking about this video, I was going to declutter these, but I think what I'm going to do, um, this one is Halo on High Luminizing Powder Cream. Luminizing powder cream? I don't know. Um, I know I got this in a So Susan box. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is put them in, in projects. Okay, the next one is Nomad, and this is called Aperitivo. And I'm not really sure which palette this was from. Um, I, th I think I have the palette that this is in. Stand by. This is the Nomad Toscana palette. I got this from Erica Conger. And yes, 
this shade right here is Apertivo. So I don't need this. So I am going to declutter that. This is from IBY. It's called Desert Frost. Again, you know, it came in an Ipsy or something. That's pretty. Yeah, I'm going to keep them, but I'm going to put them in projects. Uh, this is from Chantico. I got this in my ice cream beauty box. It's kaleidoscopic, and this is really pretty. I just had this in my project for uses, and it has a little flippy flip to it. So, so I'm keeping these. I'm keeping these for now. And I'm going to press those into a pan. And then I am decluttering these three. All right, now I have my crayons and liquid shadows. So let's start with the crayons. This is something that I don't ever use. I never use stick shadows. I don't. What I'm wondering though, okay, let's go, let's, let's do these multi-sticks first. Black multi-stick. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Frosting. It is still sealed. I have this Wet n Wild multi-stick. I am going to declutter this blue because I don't need it. I'm not going to use it. I've had it forever. Um, this one is Wet n Wild Multi Stick. Oh, it's just in the shade white. And I have a white eye base. I'm going to declutter this also. I have a white eye base. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to keep these three for now. I am going to get rid of this blue one. I'm not going to use the blue one. Um, I am going to keep these three for now for now. Um, this one is a Studio Glam, Crown Studio Glam Pearly White. As you can see, it's still sealed. And then this one is Ingbo. Ingbo Shadow Stick and Smudger in the shade 01. Oh, that's the Smudger. And this is a pearly white also. Hmm. Okay, this this white I'm getting rid of. The, the wet and wild I'm getting rid of. It's very old. I don't need it. This one I'm going to keep. This is a pearly white. That was a matte white. But I'm going to keep this. You can hear um, Luna back there on her. With her toy. Um, this is still sealed. I'm going to pass this on because I'm not going to use it. I already have one pearly white. I don't need two of them. So I am going to pass that on. This crown chubby eye pencil in the shade Beanstalk. Um, I have opened this, but I don't believe I've used it. I think I swatched it. Oh, guys, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to pass it on. So someone else is going to use this. I'm not going to use it. Someone else can use it. Okay. That gives us these five. This beauty for real, I am keeping. I have used it. Um, put it on my lids and blended it out. It is beautiful. It is in the shade. Um, I don't know what shade it is. All day latte is the shade name. So I'm keeping that. This Love of Color Heavy Petal. Um, I have used this quite a bit. I'm going to keep it. It's so, so pretty. These are actually really pretty together. Just kind of draw them on your lid and then blend them out. This is the Mirabella Semi-Sweet Eye Crayon. It is in the shade Semi-Sweet. And I have used this quite a bit too. The last couple of times I used it, I thought it was getting a little dry. So I'm actually, oh, I'm going to declutter it. It's getting dry. There's no reason to keep it. These two are ColourPop. 
This is a metallic color stick and it is in the shade Happy Days. Mm. Mm. Let's see what this one is. This one's in the shade Coffee Shop and it is a creamy matte. Oh, that's really dry. No. Unfortunately, I'm going to declutter that. Um, I'm going to declutter this one too. I've never used it. I got it in a mystery box probably a year, over a year ago. I've never used it. I'm going to pass that on. Okay. So I have decluttered six, seven eye crayons and I'm keeping five. No, that's a, and I'm keeping five. So I'm, I'm cool with that. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Now let's talk about liquid shadow. You guys. All right. Let's do these first. These are all similar. I believe they have all been in my project three uses. That one is model and co in the shade of champagne. This one is Galactic in Cleopatra. Okay, this one's getting decluttered because it's goopy. And this one is Koki, and I just used this not too long ago. And then it's in the shade Moonchild. So those two are pretty different. I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and keep them. Why? I don't know. I'll put them in some projects. Make sure I use them. Blah, blah, blah. This is a Stila and it is in the shade Pigali. And this was in my project three use. No, it wasn't. I used it for my shop, my stash. It is such a pretty shade. And it is not dried out yet, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it, you guys. Silly, silly, silly. All right, this one was in my Project 3 uses as well. And you guys, this is gorgeous. It took me forever to actually use it. But it's a very, very flippy, shifty shift shade. Now I have that one and I have this one and this one is Rasha B. Let's see if they look the same. Oh no, they don't actually. I don't know if what they, if they look the same to you, but to me they don't. And this one is actually a lot prettier. Mm. That is beautiful. Oh, I've never used it. I got it in a slay glam box. Slay glam box. Okay. I have two other Rasha B. I have this one. Oh, that one looks, oh yeah, that's all dried out. So we don't have to have to worry about that. That was in a slay glam box the same time I got this one. So that is getting decluttered because that is all dried up. And then the, this one is in my project three uses and I haven't even used it yet. Okay. Well, that one's dried up too, but I'm going to put it back in my, oh, it's so dried up. I'm going to put it back in my project drawer. And I'll discuss that when, on the third of the month, when that comes about. Okay, so I am keeping this one, and I am keeping this one, and I am keeping these two. I have two more, well, there are four more, actually, but they are the Huda Matte and Metal. And this one is in the shade Request Line. This one I have used as a eye base. And then this is called Slow Jams. And those are both beautiful. And I'm keeping those. And then this one is VI Pink. This is the matte side. This is the one I used as an eye base underneath a pink shimmer, and it was beautiful. 
And then this, uh, underneath a pink powder shimmer, not this one, not this. This is in the shade Million Dollar Deals. See, you guys, why don't I use those? That is beautiful. Dang it. Okay, those are getting kept. It smells like paint. Does that mean it's bad? I don't know. Okay, so I have these three Sydney Grace shadows. They're almost empty. This one is in Awkward Silence. This is Fireside Glow, and this is Are You Sure? Now, I'm not going to show you those because Lana Dalton, Ash from Makeup and Chaos, and I have Sisterhood of the Traveling Eyeshadows. Leanna and I both had Sydney Grace cream shadows. Um, actually, Ash had one too. We talked about the fact that we're never going to use this whole thing ever. We're never going to use this whole thing. So Leanna, her, her artist self, saw these watercolor palettes. And she put her... Sydney Grace Cream Shadows. So then she sent Ash and I both one of these. Well, she sent them both to me. So I took mine out of those two and I put the cream shadows in mine. So then I sent Ash the third one of these and then they put the shadows in, in, that, in that one. So let's see. Let's see what the names are. This is Stolen Kiss, Starstruck, Warm Glow, Awkward, Awkward Silence. See, Leanna put all her, her names here and I put mine on the bottom and I don't know why I didn't put them here, but I might do that. Birthday Cake, Awakening, Glowing Heart, Glowing Heart, Lily, Scrooge, Indecisive, Black Hole, Dragonfly, which is freaking gorgeous, Fireside Glow, Are You Sure, and Cookie Bake Off. And these are just, I'm not going to swatch all of them, but this Dragonfly shade is just amazing. It doesn't take a lot, you guys. It does not take a lot, which is silly to have this whole thing full when you know you're not going to use them. That's a lot of pretty right there. That is a lot of pretty. Um, I had all intentions of decluttering all of my liquid shadows. And I mean, I've gotten every liquid shadow that I have, except for the Sydney Grace, I've gotten from boxes. Um, yeah, because I don't buy liquid shadows. Every single liquid shadow I have, I've gotten from boxes or from bundles or from something like that. I've never bought a liquid shadow. So I was going to go in and I was going to declutter all of them. But then I swatched them and now I can't because they're so beautiful. I just need to use them. I just need to freaking use them, you guys. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it, make it a point to use my liquid shadows and my shadow sticks. I just think this is a genius. I am going to put my shades on the inside of the lid because that just makes sense. Okay, so what did we end up actually decluttering? We decluttered seven shadow sticks, one, two, and there will be three liquid shadows because the other liquid shadow that's uh, dried out, uh, is in a project. So I have to do my product project update before I can declutter it. So that will be decluttered as well. Um, I have the Nomad Apertivo because I have the shade in a palette. And then these two, these two Jacqueline shades, Glassy and Icicle. I'm just not going to use these. I so I think that is a pretty successful declutter, you guys. I do. Um, I think that I used my brain when I did it, and I didn't just 
declutter to declutter all willy-nilly because I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have a good reason behind decluttering. And one of the good, one of the best reasons I can think of is the fact that I'm not going to use it and someone else might, but I am going to make it a point to use my liquid shadows and that beautiful palette of liquid shadows. And I'm going to make it a point to use my shadow sticks. And these I'm going to repress, um, all of these I'm going to repress, and then I'm going to make sure that I put these in projects so that I do get uses out of them. So thank you guys so much for joining me for another collection and declutter. Let's see, what do we have left? I have my super shocks. I have my single shadows that are NZ palettes. I have my mini, mini palettes that I have in my little bins. And then I have all of my full size palettes. So, um, that's going to last longer than Vlogmas because Vlogmas is only until the 25th, but this is going to all last through the end of the month. So I hope you're enjoying them. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying the declutter videos. I really appreciate you guys being here and until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.